What's up guys, Dylan from Veteran Aquatics here and today we're going to talk about all the problems I'm having in my fish room. So the first thing you'll notice behind me, I painted the back of the second 125, got that filled up and set up. Um, so that's where we're going to start with my problems. So as you guys remember I had two canister filters, I got one set up on that 125 on the bottom and I went to go set one up on the other 125 to find out that the intake uh, the plastic intake piece was broken. So right here we have the intake piece, you'll see right there. So there's supposed to be a piece that comes out of this and it goes into the intake hose for the canister filter. Well, it's broken. Um, good news on that front though, you can buy the replacement part on Amazon for about six bucks, um, along with a couple other pieces, so they'll be here in a couple days. Um, in the meantime, I have made a Pretty much a surface skimmer is about all it equates to, right? A little, little whisper 10 hang on back there. It's just to keep some surface agitation and to keep the water from going stagnant until I get the replacement parts from Amazon, right? But I'll show you guys the tank. Um, it's not done. These are just things I had laying around. I didn't actually have any sizable fake plants since this is going to end up being a cichlid tank. But nonetheless, if these plants were a little bit bigger, it doesn't look too bad. Alright. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, my angelfish died. So I had some koi angels and some pearlescent angels. I started with four of each. I am down to one of each. Um, over the course of the last four months since I bought them, I have slowly but surely lost them one at a time. Um, at first it was a bacterial infection, fine, I treated it, I lost a couple, no big deal, it happens. Um, but since then, none of the angelfish have been displaying signs of stress. Uh, I keep their tank at about 81, 82 degrees. There are live plants in there, they get fed brine shrimp, flake food, normal fish things. Water changes every week or so, um, sometimes 8 or 9 days, um, because I work a lot. So I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, I still want to set up that 90 gallon as an angelfish tank, right? That one down there. Because the 90 gallon tall with a nice grow light planted really densely will look awesome. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong guys. Um, I use a little bit of aquarium salt in all of my aquariums. It helps uh, ward off disease and stuff like that for the fish. So if you have any tips. Um, as to keep angelfish alive, by all means, leave them down below. I could really use them. Other problem, algae. So this 55 is just green. Um, you might be able to see it, but there's a bunch of plants and some driftwood in there. So I took a lot of the plant cuttings um, from when I did my How to Propagate Plants video and put them in there because I want it to be a really densely planted red dragon guppy tank, right? Um, so the red dragon fryer in there, black sand, all that good stuff. I'm pretty sure it's that grow light, but within three days the tank was almost green. Um, so I was thinking of getting some freshwater clams. Now that's something you don't see every day, right? I was doing some research on how to keep your water nice and crystal clear, and oddly enough, but it makes sense, they're filter feeders, freshwater clams were pretty high in the list. Um, so probably in a week or two I'll order some of them, uh, I'll set them up and we'll do a video on those as well, right, in case it was something you guys are curious about. And you can see that 20 gallon is, I had it almost clear but it's just not having it, right, it's still green. So I'm going to end up changing the gravel out of there for sand eventually anyway, so what I'll do is I'll just drain the tank entirely, take out the substrate, give it a good cleaning, and pretty much start from scratch. I'll still have the filter so... I still have all the beneficial bacteria and stuff like that built up on that, so I'll be able to instantly cycle the tank. So it's not a big deal. Um, these guppies are doing good, my red dragons and my black Moscows. I'm gonna, gonna separate these guys shortly, they've already been together for far too long. But if you guys want to see the both of the 125s, you saw the top one. And then there's the bottom one canister filters running nicely, the water is nice and crystal clear. I still have to cut lids for the top tank, um, I haven't gotten around to it yet, but as you guys can see, the shop lights work pretty good, right? So it's pretty bright. Um, 
it gives the dark sides to the tank. So for fish, like some cichlids don't like brighter lights, so they have a darker place to go to. Uh, I still have to rebuild this stand, as well as build another 55 gallon stand. But after that, I'll paint them black, and we'll be all done. Right? We'll have all the tanks set up. And that's going to be most of the tanks for now. Um, I have another project that I'm working on out in the living room. Once that's done and all set up and going well, we'll do a video on that as well, right? I'm setting my girlfriend up with an aquarium. Um, she's decided she wants a nice planted tank with a dirt substrate. And we've been looking at some fish. Um, I'm trying to steer her away from what she's looking at. Just personal preference. Um, but it's her tank and I want her to enjoy the hobby so she's going to get whatever she wants, right? So the fish room's kind of a mess. But if you guys have some other tips on how to get rid of algae like that, I do not and will not use chemicals in my tanks, right? I have live plants. I have um, guppy fry in there. I'm not trying to lose my fry. I have shrimp in there as well. So I will not use any chemicals. Um, I've tried turning the light off. It works temporarily, but it always comes back, right? Uh, I did a gravel vac, 50% water change, left the light off for three days. The tank was almost clear, and then it just came right back. So I don't know if I have to take everything out of the tank and scrub it, if it's just staying in the substrate, and I just, like I said, I need to break the whole tank down and take it all apart and clean everything. Um, that's going to be what I end up doing anyway. Um, but maybe for the 55, you know, until I get the freshwater clams, if you guys have any ideas on how to get rid of it, let me know. Um, leaving the light off for overly extended periods of time is not a great option because of the amount of live plants that are in there. I can take them out, it's just a nightmare to do it, right? Um, so give me any ideas you have on that. So I don't know if you guys have seen my betas. They don't talk about them that much. They're kind of out of the way. But I do have, if they're gonna, I do have two dragon scale betas. So that's mine. So I thought it would be fun to do kind of a, a yin and yang theme. I have to clean this tank. And then, you would swear he's dead half the time, but that is the beta my girlfriend chose. So we have those two male betas, and then we have Redfishy, right? He's pretty, he's active, he's a good beta. I like him. So at some point, I'm going to end up breeding these guys. I need to get a, I'm going to get a big rack. Uh, maybe I'll do a shelving unit above all the tanks and just put a ton of 10 and 20 gallons up there, probably 10s. Um, that way I can have them for fry tanks. I'll just, you know, pair the guppies off in there and let them go nuts with some java moss. Um, and then I can get the, uh, and I can get the betas breeding, right? I've never bred betas before. I've done the research to do it. So I just have to find some nice female betas and see if I can get that going as well. The jaguar cichlids down there are doing good. Um, pretty soon they're going to be ready to be moved into the 125 there on the bottom. Uh, the tank's been going for a little while now. It should be about cycled. Um, I'm probably going to wait another two weeks though. Just because I don't want to rush, I don't have to. Um, and I'd rather be safe than sorry any day, you know. Uh, the Jaguar cichlids were my first South American cichlids, and they're awesome fish. I love them. I'd be absolutely beside myself if I lost them. Uh, they're pretty much the mascots of my fish room. I mean, I have more guppies than anything, but that's because they're guppies and they do what guppies do. So for me, the jaguar cichlids are kind of like my, my current trophy fish. Um, I never really talk about these guys down here, but this tank is full of CPDs. They're very shy and they like to hang around in the back. I have scraped the algae off these plants more times than I can count. Uh, I'm probably going to do the same thing, drain this tank clear out all the substrate and start over with black sand but I love these guys man if you can see them they're colored up so nicely look like little brook trout I remember the first time I saw celestial pearl daniels online I had to have them I had my local fish store order them for me uh, back when I still lived in New York I think they cost me like eight or nine bucks each um, so they're not cheap and I have um, they're egg scatterers so when they breed they scatter eggs the males fertilize them the problem is, if they can get to the eggs, they will eat them. So they kind of... It's pure laziness on my part, but they have to be in pretty much um, a fry catcher with some plants in there. They'll scatter the eggs, the male will fertilize them, but they won't be able to eat them. So you leave them in a fry catcher for a couple of days, see if they've laid eggs. 
and it'll take a couple days, but they'll hatch. All right, so that's going to be something else that I start to work on here soon. Um, I'm really excited about that. I have a lot of people in my local aquarium club asking me for CPDs, so that's definitely going to be something I work on. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, like I said, if you have any solutions to the algae problem, let me know. Um, I just wanted to kind of go over where the fish room is at and some of the problems I've been running into. All right. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notifications bell if you want to see more videos like this and know as soon as they come out. I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, have a phenomenal day.